Listen, this is America. There's one engine that rules them all. It's the Coyote in a Mustang. This fly is a 5.0 as well, but not because it's a 5.0 engine. It just weighs like 5.0 freaking pounds. So check it out. Dude, that's a big brown, bro. We have a real cool one we're gonna play with today. And I already have some beads on the hook. Yes, I said beads. This is a double beaded jig streamer. Just an absolute depth bomb. Even my buddy Alec Gerbeck, who only fishes power bait and night crawlers, would be super stoked on this one. So, I have the fully mill jig force short hook with a four and a half mil metallic red bead in the front. And that's followed with a four mil metallic bead in the back. I have 140 to denier like claret or wine thread and I just like to to go up under move the slot of the hook to the bottom and kind of go under and jam your thread there and you'll be able to use that gap in the thread or in, in the uh, hook to figure out that bead in place okay so this is what it looks like underneath so we're pretty pretty well locked in as you can imagine, this plummets pretty well, but mostly I wanted a, a jig streamer that's going to have bulk, but also sinks well. I mean, that's kind of the game with these little streamers, is you want a thin fly with a lot of weight so that it gets down, and the bigger your fly is with bulk, the more weight that it needs. So, don't be scared to throw this one. It's going to sink fast, but it's not going to plummet like you, you quite think. Alright, we'll prep a little section here in the back and we're going to tie in some marabou. So I'm going to farm off some black marabou. Um, I like a healthy section of marabou and I like to tie a long tail on this. So I've got some marabou in my fingers and I've pretty much just pulled it off the stem of that bad boy. So here we have it. We need to tie all that in in that little spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically get the length that I want, which is about right here. And I'll cut these flush. And then I'm going to take my, my thumbnail and come in here and scrape out a lot of the fluff off of these marabou feathers. Then you'll see how nice the tie-in point gets once you do that. So we'll just grab these them down nice and tight and as you can see we have a pretty good little clean tie-in point and I'm gonna wrap this down the bend just ever so slightly because that helps with foul hooking all right the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tie in a little bit of this uh, fully mill straggle stuff we'll have the name of it in the recipe if you ever want to know what we're putting on this fly, just look in the link in the description. We have the recipes all right there. Uh, well, a link to the recipe. Um, take you to our website and show you all the good stuff. So I'm just going to use this to, to, to cover this up. You could use dubbing here if you wanted. I just want the little pokers and it adds a little bit of flash. So we'll throw it on there. Why not? All right. So we're good there. Um, I like to throw in like a few whip finishes here for durability because what happens is once I pull this thread now over the top of that bead, that becomes a spot where a fish's tooth might hit. So just right after the materials are tied in, you can throw that in there. And then on this one, you can do the same thing here. So we start it over <laughs> and you break your thread. Brigham, son of a just kidding, it wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, but I'll just tie off my thread right here in case I have that same thing. All right. Now I'm just going to get a polar fiber brush or a, you know, one of these bad boys. They come in a whole bunch of cool colors. And we're just going to find the end that's, you know, the pointy end of it, I guess, is the easiest way to put it. And tie that in. And this should only take like two to three turns and I'm going to grab the fibers and fold them back for every wrap. 
and it, they can kind of mat down, not a big deal, because we're going to comb it out. So, all right, we're we're good right there. And in order to to trim this without wasting a bunch of it, I'm just going to take a comb here, and I'm going to create like a part in this. All right, so once I have that parted out, you can see I have a pretty decent little tie-in or tie-off. Tie that off and then put a bunch of securing wraps right in front of it and that just pinches it, super durable. And then instead of using brig scissors, grab yourself some flush cutters and nuke that wire out of there. All right, grab a whip finisher if it's a an original Frank Mattarelli whip finisher that your good buddy Swinney gave you. It works better. And the final step to this is we're just going to give it a little bit of a brush out. Super simple streamer. It's going to get down and fish great.